assuming you have the uh, backlight slider now we want to assign the brightness key to the keyboard on the laptop the one I have is this HP X360 so most HP keys assign for the dimmer to the F2 and brighter for the F3 so the first thing we need to do is to go to get the ACPI debug.cat from Rehab Man and also the patch, ACPI patch from uh, his website also, it's the same website so there are two patches that we need to patch but first uh, put in the uh, URL for the ACPI debug these are the SDT patch so <coughs> always open the um, the current DSDT and I normally copy it to a folder and save it as in a different form DSL and, and uh, patch it from there so we call it ACPI debug .dsl. So now we can patch the first one, and then we have to patch the second one to debug. So we should be able to uh, compile it. So now we should save this one as ACPI debug.aml, which is machine language. And then we're going to put this one. We put this one inside the ACPI folder. So this is Clover from the EFI folder so we copy that new DSDT and then we need to edit the config file and change the name to the new ACPI debug now we can reboot so make sure it's there Now after the reboot, we can go to the utility and to the console and we click the system log. Now when we punch a key, it will respond. So when I put a dimmer, it's 11. And then if I put the brighter key, it's a 12. So I'll take a screenshot of this so you can remember it or write it down because we're going to patch on the new DSDT. Okay. So now what we do is we get the, the one before this, the last one, the one without the patch, the debug, ACPI debug patch. And then we're going to patch this assignment in there so this is going to be the one that we are going to use without the ACPI debug patching it All right. now the key is a little bit different
from 10 we change to 11 according to mine so it depends on your key number okay but you use the same uh, patch just change the value that's different make sure there's two patches and two changes because that's two keys so we compile it and save it to a new DSDT so I use keys so this is a DSDT that has a key in it alright again we go back to the Clover EFI alright so we have to use a Clover config to mount the, the hidden EFI folder so open it up and copy the new patch DSDT to the ACPI patch folder and then you have to edit the config again and change the name of the DSDT to the final one so every time I patch something I give it a name so I remember what it has so now you reboot the computer you have to and every should works brighter is F3 lower dimmer is F2 You're done thanks rehab man for showing me how to do this